Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. In this video, we're going to learn how to send product review request email for new Shopify order. So I'm an owner of a skincare brand and I sell the online products from my business with the help of Shopify. So here what I want is that, that whenever by any of my customers, a new order is going to be created, that means a new order is going to be placed with the help of Shopify, automatically to the customer an email, a review email should be forwarded with the attachment of the review form that I've created. And if I'm going to do this manually, it is going to take me a lot of time. So what I did was I simply created an automation between Shopify and Gmail with the help of Pabli Connect, which is an amazing automation and integration software. So if you want to learn about this amazing automation, then let me take you all to my screen. Welcome to my screen. In this video, we're going to learn how to send product review request email for new Shopify orders. So I run a Shopify store selling skincare products. After each order is fulfilled, an automated email should be forwarded to the customer, thanking them for the purchase and inviting them to leave a review of the product that they have purchased. The email includes a direct link to the product page form that I've created for leaving their feedback. Over time, these reviews help to improve customers' trust, refine product offerings, and increase sales through social proofs. And all without the need of any manual efforts, we are going to be creating this amazing automation with the help of Pabli Connect. So on the screen, you can see the website of Pabli Connect, that is pabli.com slash connect. After browsing this website, we need to sign in to our Pabli Connect account. But if you're a new user, you can sign up for free and get 100 free tasks every month. So as I'm an existing user, I'm going to sign in to my Pabli Connect account. After signing in, you can see the all Pabli apps window in front of you in which you can see the five applications of Pabli, from which we are going to select Pabli Connect by clicking on Access Now. Then Pabli Connect dashboard is going to appear in front of you. In order to start an automation process in Pabli Connect, we need to create a workflow. For that, click on this top right corner button right over here that says create workflow. A dialog box is then going to appear in front of you which is asking for the workflow name and for us to select a folder. So for the name of my workflow, I'm going to give it as send product review request email for new Shopify orders. So this is the name that I want to give to my workflow. Next, it is asking for us to select a folder. So on the left side of my screen, you can see I've created multiple folders in my public connect account from which i'm going to select a specific folder in which i want to save this workflow in for that click on this drop down so these are the folders from which i'm going to select shopify automations as the folder i want to save this workflow in after giving my name to a workflow and selecting the folder let's click on create in order to create a workflow a workflow is created in the name of send product review request email for new Shopify orders and there are two windows in front of you. One over here says trigger, other says action. Trigger and action are the two most important steps of our automation process because our process depends on these two concepts. Over here trigger says when this happens and action says do this. That means our action is a response towards our trigger. In an automation process, there can be only one trigger step but multiple action steps. We're going to set up our trigger step first. And for the trigger application, what we are going to do is we are going to select it as Shopify. As with the help of Shopify, I am collecting the orders from my customers for my skincare brand. Okay, they are purchasing it through Shopify. Okay, so that is how the trigger application is selected as Shopify. And for the trigger event, I'm going to select it as new order. As whenever a new order is going to be placed in my Shopify account, automatically public edit should capture the response. After selecting the trigger application and the event, you can see that public connect has provided us with a webhook URL. With the help of this unique webhook URL, we are going to connect Shopify to public connect by following the steps given here below in the help desk. Firstly, I'm going to copy this URL from here. After copying the URL, we are going to log into our Shopify account and we're going to connect that to Pabli Connect for the login to your Shopify account. So as you can see that this is my Shopify account right over here and now we're going to connect this account to Pabli Connect. For that, from the left side of the panel, it says settings right over here. I'm going to click on this button. As I'm going to do that, it will be forwarded towards this page right over here. And from the left side of the panel, it says notifications. I'm going to select it. As I've selected notifications, you can see it says webhooks right over here. So I'm going to select webhooks. As I've landed on the webhooks page of my Shopify account, it says create webhook right away. I'm going to select it. It is asking for us to select the event first. So in the help it says for the event, you have to select it as order being created right over here. So for the event right over here, I'm going to search for the order creation. 
you can see from these options the order creation is given to us so i'm going to select the event as order creation for the format i'm going to select it as json right over here and for the url i'm going to paste the webhook url that public init has provided us and for the webhook api version i'm going to select the latest api version from this drop down right over here okay after filling all the required details i'm going to click on the save button as you can see that the webhook has now been saved successfully it shows right over here as the webhook has now been added i'm going to open my workflow it is saying waiting for webhook response so now what we are going to do is we are going to create a dummy purchase with the help of our shopify account and we're going to check whether public and it captures the response of the new order being placed or not for that i'm going to open my shopify account from the left side of the panel you can see it says online store and next to online store a preview button is provided to us so i'm going to click on this button right over here so this is my shopify's online store and as i'm going to click on it you can see these are some products and this is the skincare product that i'm selling to my customers so i'm going to purchase this product from here okay for purchasing the product so this is the product that i'm selling okay this is a serum right over here and now i'm going to add this right over so i'm going to click on this buy it now button right over here okay as I'm going to do that, it is asking for the contact details. Firstly, it is asking for the contact email address. So for the email address over here, I'm going to write it as test user 565 at the rate com. This is the email address. Okay. Next, it is asking for the country. I'm going to select it as India. For the first name over here, I'm going to select it as test. For the last name over here, I'm going to select it as user 565. For the address over here, I'm going to write it as 123 New Street right over here. For the city over here, I'm going to select it as Indore. For the state, I'm going to leave it as Madhya Pradesh. And for the PIN code over here, I'm going to select in a dummy PIN code. Okay. After that, it is asking for the payment method i'm going to select the payment method as cash on delivery and then i'm going to click on this complete order button right over here as you can see that the order is now been completed it says thank you right over here as the payment comes over here as done i'm going to open my workflow that i've created and i'm going to check whether public edit has captured the response of the payment being done or not for that i'm going to open my public edit account and yes, you can see right away here, we have received the response of the payment being done in my public connect account. If we go to tally the response over here for the amount, the amount of the payment that is right over here, the currency as INR, as you can see, state comes over here as Madhya Pradesh, name as test user 565, as you can see right away, first name as test, first name as test, last name as user 565, country as India, city as Indore, address as 123 New Street, payment method as cash on delivery. With the purchase of the product being natural glow vitamin C serum, you can see right over here with all the other details. So this means that Shopify is now successfully connected to Public Connect and a trigger setup is done. So now whenever a new purchase is going to be done by any of my customers using Shopify, automatically Public Connect should capture the response. In this case, I want that I want to send a review email to all the customers who are going to purchase this specific product that I have created in my Shopify account in the name of natural glow vitamin serum okay I want that whenever only this product has been purchased then only what should happen is a review email should be forwarded a review request email should be forwarded to the customer who have done the purchase okay and as you can see in my Shopify account I have created multiple products so what we are going to do is we are going to set up our action step for this case and for the action application I am going to select it as filter by Pabli which is an amazing feature by public connect with the help of which we are going to filter out the values and for the action event i'm going to select as filter values as now i want to filter the values according to my requirement okay and then i'm going to click on this connect button as my objective is that it whenever this product in the name of natural flow vitamin c serum is going to be purchased only then this workflow that i'm creating should be executed so what we are going to do is we're going to set up the filter according to that it is asking for to select the label filter type and the value so for the label over here i'm going to select the label of my product which is going to be the name right over here that is natural glow vitamin c serum right over here so whenever the name of the product is going to be equal to this name right over here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy the name of this product from here and I'm going to paste it right over here, okay? So now whenever the product name, when the purchase is done, public and it captures the response, the product name is going to be equal to the natural grow vitamin C serum. Then only this workflow should get executed. So that is I've added this filter in this workflow right over here, okay? So then I'm going to click on the save and send test request button. As we have done that, the status comes as success and the condition comes as true right away for the message. So now what is going to happen as with the help of Shopify, whenever any of the customers are going to purchase the product, only the product that is a natural glow vitamin C serum is going to be purchased. Then only they are going to receive the review request email on their Gmail account. Okay. So now as the filter is also been done, 
now i want to send an email to my customers on their gmail account so we're going to add another action step to this workflow and for the action application over here i'm going to select it as gmail as with the help of gmail i will be forwarding the emails to my customers for the request of the review that i'm going to send to them okay and then for the action event i'm going to select it as send email as now i want to send the email to my customer who have done the purchasing okay after selecting the action application and the event i'm going to click on this connect button a new window is going to appear on which click on add new connection or else you can select the existing connection after that click on this connect with gmail button as we have done that you can see a window is then going to appear in front of you which is asking for a permission so i'm going to click on this allow button as this is safe process and my data is perfectly safe with public connect so i'm going to click on the allow button as you can see that we successfully authorized gmail to Pabli connect after authorizing it is asking for the recipient email address on which email address we want to send an email to so for the recipient email address what we are going to do is we are going to map the data mapping means inserting data from the previous step so we're going to insert the data from the previous step of this workflow and how mapping works is that as soon as i'm going to click on this field you can see this was the previous step of this workflow and as i'm going to click on this arrow you can see this was the same response that was captured in our previous step as we are looking for the email address of our recipient the customer to whom we want to send an email to so we're on the search bar i'm going to search for the email of my customer so as you can see that this is the email of my customer right over here so i'm going to select this data right over here okay as i've selected the data from my previous response the data is mapped and as i map the data the data has now become dynamic that means whenever a new response is going to be captured in our previous step automatically the new data is going to be updated in place of this map data it is asking for the cc and the bcc i do not require the field so i'm going to skip the part next it is asking for the sender's name so for the sender's name over here i'm going to write it as team natural glow skin care okay so this is the sender's name that i want next it is asking for the email subject so the email subject over here i'm going to write it as so this is the email subject that i want reveal your natural glow with our new vitamin c serum okay so this is the email subject that i want okay after that it is asking for the reply to i do not require the field so i'm going to skip the part next it is asking for the email content type i'm going to select it as plain as the email content that i'm going to write in this field is going to be plain text okay if you want you can select the html format over here okay after that it is asking for the email content this is the main body of the email that i want to send to my customers so for the email content over here i'm going to write it as so as you can see right over here this is the email content that i want to send to my customer it says hello next to hello i want the customer's name right over here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to map the data of my customer name right over here i'm going to map it okay so this is the name of my customer it says thank you for choosing natural glow vitamin c serum we hope you're enjoying your new skincare edition and that it's helping you to achieve the beautiful radiant glow your feedback is incredibly valuable to us and other customers looking for their perfect skincare solution we'd be thrilled if you could take a few moments to share your experience leaving a review the review link right over here the form link that i've created as a thank you for your time we are offering 15 percent discount on your next purchase once your review has been submitted just use code thank you 15 at checkout your review will help us to continue provide high quality products and excellent service and it helps other customers to make informative decisions thank you for your support and for being a part of natural glow skincare community stay radiant natural glow skincare okay so this is the email that i want to send to my customers on their gmail account with the attachment of the form link of the review form link okay after filling it it is asking for the file name and the attachment i do not require the field so i'm going to skip the part after filling all the required details i'm going to click on the save and send test request button as i've done that we've received a response and the status comes as send right over here so now i'm going to open my gmail account and i'm going to check whether i have received a new email on my gmail account or not for that i'm going to open my gmail account and yes you can see right over here we have received the email right over here with the subject as reveal your natural glow with our new vitamin c serum hello next to hello it says test user 565 this was the name of our customer and this is the email that we have written in our public init account with the attachment of the form link if i'm going to click on this link right over here this is the review form that i've created as you can see right over here okay so as we have received the email this means that we successfully created an automation between shopify and gmail with the help of pabli connect so now to sum up till now what we have done i am an owner of a business and i sell skincare products with the help of shopify to all my customers so here what my objective is that, that as soon as an order is going to be placed by any of my customers using shopify i want to automatically send them a product review request email on their gmail account and for that i've created this amazing automation 
automation between Shopify and Gmail with the help of Babbly Connect. And this is how you create this amazing automation. So if you like this video, please do subscribe to our channel. Hit on the like button. Comment down below if you have any questions or doubts. And please share this video. Not just with these applications, you can create automation with the help of Pabli Connect between multiple applications. If you have any doubts, you can send us an email on support at the rate pabli.com. If you have any queries, you can ask your queries on forum.pabli.com. If you have any queries regarding the pricing of Pabli Connect, then you can check out this link. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. Hit on the like button. Comment down below if you have any questions and doubts. And please share this video. And thank you for watching.